Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today we're making vegan pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. So maybe it's Thanksgiving time and you made pumpkin pie. What do you do with all of that leftover pumpkin puree? Well, I've got the answer for you today, everybody. We're gonna make pumpkin cookies. They're vegan and they have chocolate chips in them. Super delicious. So the first thing we'll do is put our wet ingredients in this bowl here. So I have some olive oil. I have maple sugar. So you can use another kind of sugar if you want, light brown sugar, coconut sugar, granulated sugar. But I like that maple sugar because it adds that nice maple flavor to my food, right? Who doesn't want maple in their pumpkin cookies? I love it. So I'm just gonna whisk this together, add a little bit of vanilla, get some vanilla goodness in there. Make sure that the sugar is all crushed up and it's whisked together well. And then, of course, we have our actual pumpkin puree. So this pumpkin in our cookies will also add some really nice nutrition in addition to flavor. So we have some vitamin A in there, some fiber. It's gonna be great. Okay, so these are all of our wet ingredients. So we're gonna set it right over here. We'll do a little quick swap. Just want to make sure this is nice and whisked together well. So you really want to get in there and use some of that elbow grease. Okay, then over here we have whole wheat pastry flour, which I love because it's whole wheat, so you get all of those great nutrients, but it is a softer wheat and it is milled finer. So that means you still get that nice texture that you're used to with an all-purpose flour. Then I have some salt some baking powder for puff, some baking soda for spread. And we've got our nice warming spices. So we have cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and allspice, which are your typical pumpkin pie spices. So we're gonna mix that all together, like so. Make sure that we're all incorporated well. And then we are going to add our dry to our wet. So we just wanna mix it all together. And we don't wanna be too crazy vigorous about it. This dough will be a little bit thicker but we don't want it to get too much. If we, if we really move it around too much, it'll start to develop gluten and then we won't have that nice um, crumb that we want. So, just like that. And then, of course, our chocolate chips. So, you could add some toasted walnuts or toasted pecans or even toasted pumpkin seeds in addition to or instead of those chocolate chips. They would be delicious. And then you could have a little extra plant-based protein and some nuttiness in your cookies. Okay. All right. Let me just grab our baking sheet here. So it's gonna take probably two baking sheets. You just wanna put parchment paper out. And then we're just gonna, kind of a rounded teaspoon, or sorry, it's kind of a rounded tablespoon. Maybe press it down a little bit. And then we're just gonna put, this should make about 20 cookies, depending on how big you make them, but 20 to 22. And you'll bake them in the oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. 
All right, so I'm gonna keep prepping my cookies and then I'm gonna bake them. And I'll see you back here in about 10, 12 minutes when we can get our cookies out of the oven. All right, let's get our vegan pumpkin chocolate chip cookies out of the oven. Ooh, beautiful. You can see how nice they are. They're gonna be nice and tender inside, super delicious. We just wanna make sure they cool completely before we eat one. So once again, I'm Abby. These are my vegan pumpkin chocolate chip cookies. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.